guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here welcome and for those of you who are returning welcome back here on my channel I do planner and planner related videos DIY tutorials budget videos and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop and if that is of interest to you please consider subscribing to my channel and if you hit that little notification bell you'll always be notified of when I do look a new video. Sharing, commenting, and liking this video does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. So this is number three in Repurpose Your Planner video series. I thought I could get four, but I think I actually can get five things from that academic planner that I showed you in this video. And like I showed you in that video, this is the other one that I have. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, if I'll repurpose it the same way, or if I'll think of some other things. But again, in that original video that'll be linked in a playlist below, you can see um, what I did to turn that big academic teacher's happy planner into to what I am going to be using as a doodle hand letter thing that I'll be doing throughout the work week. The second thing I repurposed that planner to do is I cut those pages and I actually showed you in a video that's already up, and again, it'll be linked in the playlist below, how you can turn those off cuts into some functional Happy Nietzsche, Happy Bullet Journal, Phoba Nietzsche, Skinny Classic, layouts depending on what you call yours. This actually kind of mimics the new skinny classic with the horizontal. This kind of gives me a dashboard vibe and then we went back to uh, doing a horizontal but gearing more towards like meal planning and, and things like that. Again these are just some mock spreads that you'll find in that other video. Now when you do yours like I mentioned in that video you're definitely going to want to measure. I measured per the paper, so I just cut an inch from the top and the bottom, but the half sheets are actually slightly taller than nine inches. I, I believe they're nine and a quarter, and that's what I'm missing top and bottom. It's not that big of a deal, but again, don't do what I do <laughs> unless you want a little bit of a gap on tops and bottoms. So what we're gonna be doing today is using these divider sheets and right now I'm leaning towards sort of like a monthly vision board goal thing, although it might be a like a running brain dump on a monthly basis towards my social media and my business. This might be where I do some gratitude journaling. I'm not sure, but I've already started to put this together and we'll finish it up together on camera. And then I'll show you um, how you can use, or I can give you ideas on how you might be able to use something like this um, in your own you know, lifestyle. These are the dividers that came with that planner, like all of the Happy Planners do. Now, all it is is dividers, and I have actually bound it together with some washi. Now, I've got two more months to put together on here so that I could show you how to do this, and then we're actually going to put this into something, and then we're going to finish it up, like I said, together. <laughs> All right, now I am not a teacher, and because this is a teacher's academic planner, pretty much every single divider has something to do with teaching. If not exactly saying it, a lot of them do. However, I think they are really fun and they're colorful and I'm just going to leave them. I'm not gonna do any kind of adjustments. What I will do is cut the umbrellas off. I'm not measuring it. Really, I'm just lining up my trimmer to the top of the umbrella and then just cutting them off. And because I cut it so close, it actually comes off in pieces. And I'll do two months with you on camera, all of the rest of the months I've already done. Now, although this is an August through July um, planner, I am not gonna be using it from August through July. So the way that I'm going to put this together is truly for me to be able to use for a year. So from this October to next year, September, where hopefully I can pick up another 
planner for a really good price. I got the planner for $6. That might be kind of expensive for you guys, but here in Hawaii, Happy Planner is not very easy to get, and I've never seen one that cheap. So I'm going to use my stuff, and I'm going to make it work for me, because I don't need a planner, but um, the paper quality is good, the color is good, so why not use it? All right, now, um, when I, and I'll show you how I started. Limited space issues, guys. <laughs> so I lined up the two pages as best as I could. If I were super funny about it, I would actually tape these down so they wouldn't move. And now that I've said that, they're probably gonna move, but I didn't do that with that one. And all I did was run some washi down the middle. It doesn't matter if it goes all the way to the top, although it does matter. Well, I prefer, uh-huh. Telling you right now, this didn't happen in all of those other months I did, so. <sighs> Real life. <laughs> all right, so let's see if we can do this again. Again, I'm not even gonna worry about that. Doesn't matter, does not matter repurposing my planner and making it work for me. So I'd like it to be more centered because if it starts going at an angle by the time it gets to the bottom, it's going to have very little on one of the pages. So now that we've got the top reasonably stuck together, then the rest of this is rather easy. And then I've got my painter's palette knife. I'm not I'm really sure what this is called and I put it together now when it's just the two pages they're exactly the same width so it's really easy to do but once you start getting it together if I wanted to attach this to this then that makes it hard because this is higher than this because this is the other what 10 months worth of, of dividers. So what I recommend is because it opens up and it flattens, you want to make sure that you're going to stick it to the month that you want, but then that gives you some evenness. And if it isn't quite even, then open it up again. And that way you give yourself the best chance at lining these up. And this is some, I don't know if you can see it, some Scotch brand expression washi tape. Here on island, I mean, there might be like little tiny mom and pop shops that have washi, but this is washi that I can pick up from Walmart. This is, these two are probably some of the original uh, washi that I had. I know because I brought some of the other ones that I have to work and I've been at that job coming on two years. So um, I like these better because they're not as papery as some of the other washi. And this, I think, will just give me a little bit of longevity that those other more paper style ones wouldn't. If you've got some favorite washi and they stick really good, then just use that. Um, but I like this Scotch brand one. And if I can find um, some on Amazon to link below if you're interested, then I'll, I'll definitely do that. So check there if, if I can. And if not, again, I know they sell these at least in my Walmart and they sell them in all the Walmarts that I ever visit. So I don't know, I mean, Scotch brand is not a Walmart brand, so it should be easy enough to find. And then, like I said, I just basically, uh, starting with October, because that's the month we're currently in, and it's going to end in September. Now it is September 2019, but I'm not using this, so that doesn't matter to me. Now the checklist, um, like I said in that first video, uh, or maybe it was a second one, don't remember. Um, the actual checklist I am going to uh, send to Tamika um, because she is a teacher and I think she uses these so I'll send that to her but I wanted to keep this checklist divider because I did want to do some tracking of things. Now what I'm going to be tracking I don't know but I, I did want to keep this and then I'll just give her all of the papers. 
So like I said, this goes through October through September. Now this side is sticky because that's all the washi that's coming through those gaps. So what I'm going to put this in is a file folder. Now this uh, file folder had just one score down the middle. I actually scored it and I'll put it ink marks here. A quarter inch from either side times two. So this is a half an inch from here to here and here to here. Uh, just because I wanted to give it a little bit of a bend uh, before I stick this in. Now I suppose I could just put it in and rely on the stickiness, but I don't think that's going to work. Because what my original idea was, was to kind of find the middle point. I guess that's as good as any. And then just run an elastic to make this sort of like a Midori. But actually, let's, let's do a few things. Let's put some washi here. And I'll start on the inside, wrap it around. And I might not have to glue it down because this is, this is going to bend. Ugh. I don't know if you guys have ever done tutorials on camera. I enjoy doing, I enjoy making things. I just don't know. <laughs> I enjoy myself filming making of things. Now looking at it, that other washi might have been a better choice, but we're gonna make it work. And then we will come down the other side and just end it here. And I'm actually not going to overlap. Washi doesn't tend to like to stick to itself. So I'm just gonna sort of meet up the edges. It's gonna be on the inside, no one's gonna see that. And then, looks like we're okay. I don't see any lifting, but if it does lift, then I can either put another washi strip here or I can use some wet glue and glue it down. And if you've never had a traveler's notebook, um, what I would recommend doing, I don't know how I can do this so you can see it, is I would put a notch and make like a little half moon there on either side. And you're gonna wanna do your washi before you do that step. And the reason for that is when we split this in half, and I'm just feeling that it's level, and I could count it, but I don't want to. And it doesn't matter, it's not like it's permanent, but you know, I think this might be the halfway mark. Uh, this is some two millimeter elastic that I have. If you have like a long hair band, you can use that. If you have, excuse the mess, some rubber bands that will stretch without breaking, you can use that. I don't necessarily need to take this in and out, but I don't want it falling out every time I move it. Yeah, I think that might snap. So I'm just gonna use this. Now, if you have it, you can burn these edges so that they don't fray like that. I mean, it's not a big deal. But the reason why you put those notches is so that this just nestles right in there. Now, because it's just paper, eventually this could rip because it is rather a tight fit. But again, a file folder that I got from Target. If I need to swap it out mid-year, I can certainly do that. Okay, 
And so I've got this lovely little monthly organizer. And you're like, well, you've got half a month. <laughs> I'm not sure how organized you're going to be with that. But guys, cunning plan. So this is a notebook that I had in my stash. Uh, and I bought this. Okay, so I did a craft fair two years ago, three years ago, and I had it already. So this, this is rather old. But what I did was I took the pages out because I love how that looks and I can't get that if I rip it because I'd have to cut it down. And because this is one of those O-ring things, I think that's what they called, I basically just took it apart, took the paper out, and then I put the covers back together. Because I think I might turn this into a junk journal because that's kind of fun. So that's a project for another day. But what I'm going to do is, and this edge here is sticky. I don't know if that's going to be problematic, but these papers are nearly a perfect fit for this. And again, I, I like how the punches look. I don't know why. I just, I do. They look like little bullet points to me. Now I could glue this down, but I may need to switch this out or whatever so i'm just going to actually use some of my washi and cover up as much as this as we can because i don't mind that it says october honestly i don't mind that it says sunday monday and tuesday but i don't necessarily need to see it and that's actually kind of nice. Again, I could cut it down, but I, I like the look of the little bullet things. And you know, if I wanted to be super extra, I could color it in if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know that I want to, but I could. And so what I'll do, and I won't do this on camera, basically you can see this, although you could put down an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you could put down other note paper, you could just leave it blank and just write over it. You could do a color wash like my friend Kelly does in some of her, um, I believe it's in her Happy Nietzsche, where she just uses some distress inks and she just inks up her pages. You can certainly do that. Now, like I said, my my initial plan for this is sort of like a brain dump, uh, but doing it on a monthly basis. And this could be a brain dump on projects that I want to work on or videos that I want to work on. Or it could be a, all right, you have all of these projects in mind, now get them done, sort of keeping myself accountable. And again, because I have one for every month going through next year, I'm hoping it'll help me keep me organized. With the system that I have now, I only usually work on either the week I'm in or the upcoming week if I'm in my regular planner section because I DIY the entire thing. I don't have any future planning. There are some sections for my Etsy shop, but I mean, just any kind of planning, whether it's for my Etsy shop or for my YouTube channel or even for work or for my personal, I don't have any space for that because I have no place for that. So this might end up being a catch all of all kinds of things because this stays home, um, but I can at least look forward and say, okay, so if I've got a list of things here that I need to get done next year, April, then I, at least I have a, a landing space I know that I can go to time and time again without having to be bogged down with an actual planner. And like I said, this teacher stuff does not bother me. It's really about the, the shapes and the colors <laughs> that, are, that are really speaking to me. And I'm probably gonna do some decoration out here, but I like that I'm able to use the thing that I purchased in a new way. If you have some outdated planners or some planners that you never finished, or if you just have a ton of dividers that you've used and, and now you don't know what to do with, you can turn it into a sort of command center. Cause again, this could be a, just a place you can do some gratitude journaling or some actual 
actual just journaling or some brain dumps. You can do a meal plan here again because you can say, all right, for October, these are all the recipes we're going to be doing, or these are all the people that we're going to be visiting, or these are all the things we're going to buy for uh, Christmas or Hanukkah for December, or this is the place I'm going to put some things down because I need to remember in January, or this is a venting log where I've just had that kind of day and violence is frowned upon and I'm just going to put my thoughts here and that's going to that's going to be my October or maybe this is going to be some sort of faith planner where you don't need a lot of space or maybe this can be your command center for your faith planner where this is the topics we're going to talk on this actually would also make a fabulous monthly junk journal and um, now that I'm saying that, that's what this might be. Because I've been looking at junk journal videos for quite some time now, and I am quite enamored of it. And, you know, it might be a little intimidating to do a full-on junk journal, like on a daily basis, but, you know, you might be able to get your feet wet with something monthly. I don't know, whatever this turns out to be, um, I'm definitely going to use it. And as I go through it, again, it's only something I'm going to deal with on a monthly basis, then I might just pop on and show you how it's progressing. Now, if you have planner dividers that you're not a fan of, you could always cover it up. But again, this is a quick-ish project with easily sourced items. And I think it came out rather sweet. And I really, I love opening it up and seeing those dividers. I just, it's the office worker in me. I, I know it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this up off camera. Let me know what you think of this. Would you use something like this? And if you would, how would you use a monthly command center as it were? All right. This is number three of my repurposing my planner series. Again, I think I can get actually two more ideas out of this one planner. All right, guys, thank you so much for following me on this journey. And as always, aloha. Thank you.